Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Sentinel Moments channel. I'm Jolima. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a minute since I uploaded a new video. I've been quite busy actually, but everything's fine. Um, and well, I miss you guys. So I want to talk about the fragrance haul. My fragrance haul. These are the fragrances that I purchased like a couple months ago until now and I have here 11 fragrances and it's been a while also since I uploaded a fragrance haul so I have here 11 fragrances like I told you some of them I already talked about uh, in a previous in some previous videos and let's just talk about fragrances and first I have here it's a vetiver from the house of Italie Porte d'Orange and it is Fat Electrician. This one right here, beautiful uh, vetiver scent, um, quite unique actually. Uh, usually, Italie Porte d'Orange, they have quite avant-garde fragrances, very out of the box type of scents. And this one is a fantastic resinous vetiver fragrance. Incredible. Uh, the vetiver here. It's really well done. It's grassy, it's earthy, and it has the resins to smooth the, the grassiness and the harshness of the vetiver. It's amazing. It's an amazing fragrance. Um, it's actually signature scent worthy. And if you love vetiver, just check this one out it lasts i mean the performance isn't amazing but it will last you a work day easily um, and you will smell different and appealing fact electrician from italie pour d'orange it has become one of my favorite vetivers actually and talking about vetivers uh this is actually my favorite as of now from house of profumo broma it's aldace and i already wore this a lot um aldace uh, could be my signature scent if I would pick one. Uh, this is all about vetiver and liquor. It's a licorice um, scent, also resinous, but definitely more leaning into the licorice uh, part with tonka bean and, of course, vetiver. Vetiver through and through. This is often compared with uh, vetiver tonka from the Hermes of Hermesens line. Uh, well, I can see that uh, because they actually share like the licorice vetiver, but actually the vetiver in the Hermes vetiver tonka, it's more toned down, it's not as prominent as the vetiver is in Audace from Profumo Broma. Oh, amazing. I immediately smell vetiver, licorice and tonka bean. Wow, amazing so good and actually this was featured on my fall list i think this was my number one fall fragrance uh, well and actually it is because uh for a person like me who has like over 300 fragrances yeah i'm i've been using this one in the last couple of months absolutely love this it's profumo broma great performance um, amazing longevity and the quality it's on par amazing Audace Profumo Broma, my favorite vetiver as of now. The next fragrance that I purchased, and this was on October, uh, I was really on time with this one. Uh, it's from the house of Guerlain from Dillard et la Matier, and it is Tonka Imperial. This one right here. And yes, it is still the old bottle presentation, which I actually prefer. Well, I still didn't try the new Tonka Imperial. Maybe it smells the same. I still did not see, like, in, re in real, I like, didn't touch it, uh, the new bottle presentation. So I can't really say if it's great or not. But from the look of the pictures that I already saw, I still prefer the old bottle presentation. It's... Uh, more elegant, it's slick, and it just feels more luxurious. But that's just on me, of course. Uh, this is a fragrance that it was forever on my wish list. It's Tonka Imperial. It's my favorite Tonka bean scent. And this is all about Tonka beans, of course, and almond. Almond, 
wow this is so delicious almond it's a very hard note for me to appreciate but Guerlain is almond like any other brand so smooth and so delicious mm. it's so cozy um it's a wonderful wonderful scent it's not overly sweet it has a bitterness in here because of the almond i absolutely love tonka imperial it's the only it's downside is really the performance the performance it's actually quite i will not say weak but it's not incredible at least not on my skin i already heard people saying that it's it has great performance i mean so i mean the performance is a bit subjective like this whole hobby after all but the performance is very very subjective and uh, on me at least it's not incredible but I still love this scent. I absolutely love it. Um, one of my all-time favorites. It's Tonka Imperial from Guerlain, from the L'Art et la Matière collection. The next fragrance that I bought is from the house of Bulgari, and it is Eau Te Noir. This one right here. Beautiful bottle presentation. Um, this is a 150 ml. This is an eau de cologne concentration, but actually performs incredibly well on my skin. Um, this is hard to find, actually, but um, I think this is not officially discontinued. Uh, although it's a bit harder to find. I absolutely love this one. This is all about black tea, oud and rose. I already talked about this fragrance um, like a couple of videos ago. Um, eau de noir is so unique and so underrated oh wow wow immediately rose with black tea wow and then you have the oud which is soft it's not funky uh, it's not animalic it's here gives a resinous nuance a resinous woodsy nuance but it's definitely all about more the black tea with rose um the wood it's more western oud of course it's not challenging it's amazing it's an amazing scent um the rose here is a bit jammy um it has also like a fruity nuance in here like red berries and then you have the black tea and oh, the black tea is really the most prominent note so you really need to appreciate tea fragrances and Bulgari does tea fragrances like any other brand they have a lot of tea fragrances this is actually this line is all about tea then you have the eau de vert which is very well known the eau de blanc the eau de rouge which is that one i think is discontinued never tried that one uh, and you have others eau de blue if i'm not mistaken so have a lot of uh, fragrances, tea fragrances in Bulgari collection. This is a tea collection actually, but you have more. I mean, uh, you have the Bulgari pour homme, and then you have the Bulgari pour homme extreme, the pour homme soir, which I have, and it's amazing. It has papyrus and tea, so oolong tea. Amazing. This is incredible, very luring, very mysterious, very sexy and it's perfect for date night and my opinion it's eau de noir from bulgari and again although this is an eau de cologne concentration this lasts the entire day at least on my skin the next fragrance that i have here is from house of aramis and i already talked about this fragrance it is tobacco reserve actually when i talked about uh eau de noir i talked about this one as well and another fragrance a niche fragrance that i will mention right after Aramis Tobacco Reserve. This is masculine, very masculine, but it's so damn gentlemanly, still sexy. Oh, oh, rough, but with some sweetness. So this basically, you have an old school fragrance with um, slightly sweet tobacco leaves very strong tobacco leaves actually note um as you can see very strong very prominent with tonka beans iris so basically you are modernizing the old school aramis aramis it's amazing absolutely love this one i love tobacco fragrances and this is definitely one of the best if not the best designer 
uh, tobacco scent, but unfortunately, very hard to find. I don't know why. Uh, well, maybe because of the marketing, maybe because of the bottle presentation, would feel that feels like old school. Um, but the scent it comes across has a high quality scent. The tobacco here it's quite realistic. It's it's really really well done. Fantastic scent. Perfect for fall time. Perfect for winter. Great performance. I mean, just sad that it didn't uh, sell properly. But well, it is what it is. Still an incredible tobacco scent and highly advise you to pick this one up if you love tobacco. It's Tobacco Reserve from Aramis. Now the next fragrance that I have here is from House of Penhaligans and it is Cairo. Cairo is such a hidden gem, so underrated. Another fantastic discovery of this year. And actually this year I made fantastic discoveries. This was one of them, of course. So I already talked about this fragrance when I talked about Aramis and Bulgari in that video, which was like a couple of videos ago. This one, wow, it's all about rose, a jammy, the mask and rose with saffron, an overdose of saffron, patchouli, wow, it's so good. And also you have resinous nuances, you have Elemi resin, you have frankincense, but it's definitely the rose, the saffron, the patchouli, and incense. These are the most prominent notes in this scent. Cairo, wow, it's one of the best oriental fragrances that I have. So, so good, so sexy, and at the same time, um, it has like mysterious nuance. I love it, absolutely love it. Perfect for a night out, perfect for date, night situations. Um, highly advise you to check this one out. Great performance. It's Penhaligans Kaido. This is from the Trade Root collection. The next fragrance that I have here, it's a completely hidden gem under the radar type of scent. It was a blind buy. I saw one review, it was from Nikhil from Exotic Scents. And wow, this is an oud sense. I'm searching for oud fragrances because I want to record and upload my top 10 best and favorite oud fragrances. Oud is one of my all time favorite notes, and so I have to record a top 10. I have a top 5, which I like uploaded a couple of years ago, but it's time to talk and to upload a top 10, proper top 10 oud. This will definitely be featured. What a stunning oud. Already one of my favorites from the house of Ajmal. And this is Mukalat Shams. This one right here. I don't know, maybe I butchered the name. Uh, but look at this beautiful, unique bottle presentation. And I love the Arabic lettering on front. Absolutely gorgeous. Even the cap, it's unique. Look. Yeah, it's like that. It's a bit, it's plastic, so it feels a bit cheap. I would love that this would be like metal. I think it would feel more luxurious, but nonetheless, I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, some of you, of course, might find this a bit tacky, but I absolutely love. This is a 50 ml, but it looks like a 100 ml. Um, so Mukalat Shams is all about wood musk. And blossoms it has like a floral slightly floral nuance in the opening a bit musky and wow well, wood through and through i will spray because this has become one of my favorite woods this feels natural it's a bit funky it's animalic it's not for the faint of heart but it's more in the opening then when this starts to dry down it's a wonderful, alluring, resinous uh, fragrance. Um, I will just pray for you. And the magic will happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Animalic, a bit funky. A new opening. Ooh. Mm. So good. <laughs> Oud, just oud. 
it's all about wood funky wood and so realistic this i mean i would say that this has real wood i don't know if it has maybe it doesn't but kudos to ajmal it, because if this doesn't have wood i mean it feels so real oh wow the quality of this fragrance is amazing I purchased this one at Notino for 50 euros and well, I just grab it. Um, thanks God that I did. This is so good. One of the best blind buy in years. And this is my first fragrance from Ajmal. Wow. And I already have two more fragrances from Ajmal that are coming up because if they have fragrances with this quality, that smells of this quality, I mean, I want more of that, you know. Oh, amazing. If you love wood, Mukhala Chams, it's amazing. From Ajmal, I will definitely talk about wood fragrances because, wow, I'm so in love with this one. And talking about oud, when I purchased Mukala Chams, I also purchased this one from Swiss Arabian, which is another brand that I never tried, which I never tried any of the fragrances. Um, it's this one right here. Uh, and this is so underrated. I, I didn't saw any review of this fragrance on YouTube. Uh, I know this has Arabic lettering here, which actually gives a more mysterious uh, touch um, very unique looking bottle the name now let me remember the name it's uh, Al Denal Oud Malaki I think it's and uh, yeah Al Denal Oud Malaki I hope I didn't butcher it but I think I did <laughs> the name this is another fantastic Oud wow I'm just smelling Mukalat Mukalat is the opening and the first couple of hours it will fill a room it's strong but it's so good it is so good it even has like a relaxing effect on me oh, so good well let's talk about swiss arabian swiss arabian uh al denal oud malaki i mean the cap again plastic um it is what it is but this is a 100 ml and this one looks smaller this looks like a 50 ml but this is a 100 ml eau de parfum i think the ajmal is also eau de parfum yeah it's eau de parfum as well this the oud in here is even more strong and more animalic more funky and more piercing doesn't have the smooth ajmal although it had it's funky and it's animalic it's still smooth this one is piercing it's like a punch into your nose with just oud and that's it uh, for, i just smell oud from top from the heart when it starts to dry down it becomes smoother it becomes more resinous becomes more alluring and more leathery it has a leathery facet in here but the wood here is definitely much more animalic and much more strong. And the performance is even better in um, Aldenal, my God, Aldenal Oud Malaki. <laughs> uh, in here it's much strong. And then in uh, Mukala Chams. But it's both amazing. Here, this one feels a bit more realistic than in here in Malaki then I'll Malaki but it still has a natural feel so basically if I would compare I would say that uh, Mukalat smells more realistic and more natural more smooth uh, maybe more well blended here while I think this comes across has a natural wood as well but the blend isn't that great because of the piercing nuance in the opening and you need to wait until it settles um, because this is really well like punch into your nose and it's all about oud it's amazing i love it 
uh, and it's a great bang for a buck. I purchased this one in Notino as well, like I told you, because I purchased this one alongside with Ajmal fragrance. Um, and this was a bit, no, this was also 50 euros. Yeah, this was also 50 euros for a 100 ml. I mean, not the most cheap fragrance that you can buy, but for a nude, just oud and leather. It's a fantastic scent, I will tell you right away. Amazing. Um, these two fragrances will definitely be featured on my top 10 or maybe top 15 oud fragrances. It's amazing. Um, very unique bottle presentation. This is metallic, actually. Um, which gives a bit more uh, weight into this bottle. But great scent, Swiss Arabian. It's my first experience with this house. I know the Chagaf Wood, it's the most well known and the most talked about scent. Never tried that one, but this definitely, definitely deserves much more attention. It's Al Denal Wood uh, Malaki. And let's talk about another hidden gem from the house of Laurent Mazzone. And this is Scandinavian Crime. This one right here. I think right now it is Alain Parfum. And nowadays this is not the bottle uh, that you will find. Nowadays it's a more slick, taller, more squared uh, type of presentation. And of course more expensive. But the concentration is the same. This is an Extrait de Parfum. And Scandinavian Crime, it's so underrated and it's so good. Wow, so good. Um, this is all about incense, but it's like a three dimensional incense it's because you have aromatic nuances in the top. It's a bit green and very aromatic and with incense, like this frankincense, right? And this incense in here. Then develops into like a floral, white floral, like jasmine um, scent with incense. And then it's all about resins, all about resins and gooiness and the incense maintaining strong. Wow. So good. Um, very mysterious, dark, alluring. Um, Quite masculine in my opinion, but can be unisex because of the sweet resins. Um, this fragrance definitely deserves much more attention. Actually, this house deserves more attention. I mean, it's a bit overpriced nowadays. Uh, I think a 100 ml is goes for 160 or 170 if I'm not mistaken, and then they have like three or four collections, which with the price tag even more high. So, I don't know, I, this brand feels a bit overpriced, but at least the two that I have, I have this one, Scandinavian Crime, and I also have Amco Muscada, which is a fantastic musky amber scent, which I featured like a couple of years ago, but I never talked about it. I don't know why, because it's amazing. And this one is also incredible. Scandinavian Crime, from La Amazon is stunning. The next fragrance that I have here, it's from the house of Kenzo and it is Jungle L'Elephant. Now this is a wild card. Uh, this is marketed towards women, but this is unisex. And actually this smells more masculine if, in my opinion, because this is so spicy. This is what Spice Bomb should have smelled. Uh, this is all about spices. It's cumin, it's pepper, cinnamon. I mean, so many spices in here. And uh, well, the bottle is quite interesting, quite heavy actually. And this is the cap. Um, wow. And this is powerful. This is strong. And the opening of this fragrance is, it's challenging because it's very harsh and it's wild. I mean, it's, all over the place, spice is all over the place and you need to just to take a step back and just let it uh, settle down a bit. This is all about spices. It's a bit sweet. Now, I don't remember where the sweetness comes from, but it definitely has a sweetness in here that, I mean, may makes me think more of a feminine fragrance, but at the same time, you have the spiciness that, well, balance things a bit more. 
Um, I think this is unisex. Um, maybe leaning more to the masculine side because of the spiciness. This was created by Dominique Ropignon, so I mean, this comes across as a high quality scent, hands down. If this would be like in a niche bottle, I think the price tag would be much, much, much higher and it would have much more tension, it would be much more hyped than it actually is. Um, and I'm very curious to try the men's version because you also have Kenzo Jungle Book Om, um, which I think it smells very different from Jungle Lely Foam, but still I'm very curious. Maybe I will blind buy it. Tell me in the comments down below if you already tried Jungle uh, Book Om, but this one is incredible. The performance, this it's just immense. This is so strong. Um, it's definitely one of the best performing fragrances that I have in my collection right now. Very spicy, it has a sweetness in here, but it's not overly sweet. Um, and, if, and again, if you love spices, if you love spicy fragrances, this is definitely one you should definitely check out. It's Kenzo Jungle L'Elephant. The next fragrance that I purchased is from the house of Histoire de Parfum, and this is my second model of this brand, and it is Edition Her. Fidelis. Um, I also have one, the other fragrance actually that I have from Histoire de Parfum is also from this collection and it's Ambrarum, amazing animalic amber fragrance. This one is all about coffee, wood, patchouli. It's incredible. Oh man, this is delicious. This is like a gourmand wood fragrance. Um, I have also a fragrance that has this note listed, which is from Robert Piguet and it's called Oud de Vin. You also have coffee, you also have Oud, and I think you also have patchouli. But they are still very different from each other. Uh, the coffee in here, it's more raw, while in Oud de Vin, it feels more of an espresso. Here it feels more raw, like pure coffee. Uh, which is very prominent. It's the most prominent accord in this fragrance. Then the wood is in here. It's also a bit more challenging than in Oud de Vin. And you have the earthiness of the patchouli. It's amazing. An amazing scent, quite unique. Um, and I highly advise you to check this fragrance out. I absolutely love this one. Great performance. And if you love gourmands, if you love wood, if you love coffee, Check this one out. Also one of the best coffee accords that I uh, tried so far. So it's Fidelis from Histoire de Parfum. And last but definitely not least, this is the Crown Jewel Crème de la Crème of this fragrance. The Pisse et Résistance, if you, if you will. And it's from House of Sergio from the Shooting Stars collection. It is Gouge. Del Sur one. I mean, I love uh, Serge of presentation. Um, this is also a stunning discovery of this year. I have the Cruz del Sur two, which is very different from this one. It's uh, in two, which I already talked about a lot. Uh, it's one of the best fruity fragrances out there. It's all about mango with creaminess. It's a creamy mango, so realistic and delicious. This is all about frankincense, uh, animalic notes, rum. <laughs> you have Castorium has the animalic note listed. Um, so resins, frankincense, I mean, uh, dried fruits, rum. This is completely different from uh, Cruz del Sur 2. Wow, and this is also... It's challenging, it's a bit challenging um, because of the incense, the animalic nuances, the um, rum. And the rum in here, funny enough, rum usually comes across like a sweet boozy accord. In here, it's none of that, it's not sweet. Um, this actually, more than rum, it feels like vodka. Like, you know, that pure alcohol beverage. Yeah, it smells like vodka in the opening. And then you have immediately incense, animalic nuances, because you also have cumin and cloves in here. So, I mean, this has everything that a challenging scent has. 
cumin, cloves, castorium, incense, resins, dried fruits, you name it. Um, it's a fantastic scent. It has like a leathery facet, like the castorium gives like an animalic leathery facet. It's incredible. Uh, so, so good. And it comes across as a high quality scent. It feels very smooth and nothing is piercing. It doesn't smell like synthetic or unfinished. It's a multi-dimensional animalic um, challenging scent. It's amazing. One of the best from Serge of hands down and definitely a fragrance that I will wear a lot during the winter time because this performs and lasts the entire day. Uh, so the last fragrance but definitely not least from House of Serge of is, is Cruz del Sur, one from the Shooting Stars collection. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what fragrances did you purchase lately. Uh, I would love to hear what you have been buying uh, lately. Tell me everything in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Take care. Ciao.